Hello, this is Shri Shankar again and this video has been recorded at 720p so please watch at 720p for optimal resolution. In this program we will take uh, input of a large string as big as realloc or memory supports and uh, so let's get started. <coughs> Headers are to stdio.h and stdlib.h one is for input output another is for realloc i have declared a character pointer which initially uh, allocates 10 characters and then uh, <coughs> i have a character c and an integer and 10 characters are located to begin with so we check as long as the enter key is not pressed we take the character as input and then we assign at that particular index and increment the counter now it is 10 so i have written if it becomes 9 or 19 or 29 then you realloc and add 10 more and then finally i print the string and Never forget to free the memory, it does not matter for this small program which will probably live for 10 or 20 seconds but if you have a long running program like a daemon, you will understand what a daemon is when we deal with Unix system programming. For example, you think that you are running something like Apache or Nginx or Uwhiskey, then or maybe an FTP server, then you must free this program otherwise memory leaks which will happen eventually will kill your program just like cancer kills human beings it slowly grows it's hard to detect and then you are doomed so make sure you uh, pair every allocation with the free okay so uh, let's run this program and make funk 5 so now i run this and five so uh, we know that uh, we can take uh, 10 in one go but these are more than 10 characters so it worked right now one more thing you should do is uh, memset realloc may give you garbage value so here you should do memset for the new piece of memory which you acquire now one more parameter we should which you should optimize is we are uh, taking only 10 characters but normally in real world you will be doing allocation far too quickly so let's make it 40 kb and then this should become um 4960 and this should become 40959 and there we go 40960 now a, a realloc will give you as much as you want 40 kb maybe a meg if you want to allocate that will also work fine so this time we won't need a realloc because the first allocation is sufficient for us so here you should uh, implement and set um, and set extra elements to zero so that your string has the termination character you see how to do memset okay so how to do memset is you will have to call memset um then you say cp plus uh, n and then you say zero comma one int int is n bytes so n should be four zero nine six zero so that that's it i guess this should work implicit declare oh, string dot h is not included okay <coughs> string dot h so you learn about useful functions all the time as you write code and uh, you just whatever you type it works so that brings to us to an end of this particular program 
so we check again whether mem set was good or not by setting it to 10 again in case we might have made a mistake this is like you are doing manual testing and then <coughs> you type more than 10 characters it works so I guess uh, at the very least we verified that it works for 10 characters for more yes it should work because it works for 10 characters uh, I'll uh, stop this video here and keep programming as much as you program the better programmer you become so this particular <coughs> program helps you in taking input of a huge string as much as realloc or memory supports thanks for watching the video and keep programming i cannot emphasize this fact more that you must keep programming there is no other way